Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Exalus, and welcome back to another episode of Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, I'm not gonna say the number of episodes anymore because it's getting confused with all the videos I have. So, from now on, I'm just gonna give the title of the game. Ha <laughs> ha. Make it easier for me. So, last time, uh, we cleared... I'm not sure, it, like, it's like some kind of a ruin which was the main quest around here, Maker's End. And it unlocked another main quest, which is the Grave Horde. I guess it's another rune. Okay, and uh, we got to know more about the past. Now I'm going for another uh, path now, helping the drunk guy. Uh, maybe find uh, his sister's killers, I think. Okay. So, I got as close as possible. Let us go. Ooh, health. Always good. Let me take this one away. And, uh... Anything else? Ooh. Am I going to save him some from something? Why is it... Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, I think he's in trouble. Okay, let me get this first. This one. Whoa, what is he doing? <laughs> I'm glad that's over with. Thanks for the help. Mm, don't mention it. Let me get the stuff first. Come on over here and have a word. Oh, shut up. I'd have to leave something else behind. Again, this is getting on my nerves. The bags are really limited. Hey, come on, game. what are you waiting for? Just shut up. Okay, now what? What are you doing out here all alone? Where are your men? I'm not gonna risk their lives. I don't mind putting my worthless ass on the line. And ours, it's not theirs. apparently. Sorry I had to drag you into it. Uh, don't worry. This is just an average day for me. You know, take down some machines, track some killers. Right. I'd hate to see a busy morning for you. Ready to get started? Mm, yeah, sure. Do I need to worry about you? What happened to your sister? Uh... Are you sure you're all right? Well, I'm sober, so... no. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're thinking straight, at least. Don't get used to it. Okay, what happened to you, sister? Tell me exactly what happened to Ursa. Start from the beginning. No one knows for sure. She left in the middle of the night with a few of her best men. Her best men? But she didn't bring you? No. I'd been drinking a lot. And maybe she thought... Uh, damn, I don't know. I couldn't hack it. Mm. Search parties found their bodies the next day and the corpses of some shadow carja cowards. It was an ambush. Was an ambush. The shadow carja are animals. They, they beat her so bad oh, we can't even show her face before burial. Mm. I'm so sorry, Eric. Yeah, well, when I find the soldiers who did this, They'll be sorry, too. Oh. Uh, why she left? You don't have any idea why she left in the middle of the night? No. But it must have been urgent. A message, a report of some new don't Shadow tell me Karja it's threat, I don't something. know. Why would the Shadow Karja do this? Because they hate us. And Ursa most of all. She teamed up with Avad to kick their asses out of Meridian. They've been licking their wounds for two years, but they finally found a way to get back at her. Okay, let me see All the right. ambush site. Show me where Ursa fell, and I'll do what I can to help. Come on, follow me. Mm, okay. Let's go. Wood. Sorry. Why would Ursa come all the way out here? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. 
about to find out. Is this Shadow Karja territory? No. They broke the ceasefire as soon as they set foot. I'm sorry, guys. I have to stop for these because they are really valuable for potions and everything. And travel kits. Almost there. Right, this is it, where the ambush happened. Oh, Our soldiers have been over it, but maybe that fancy kind of artifact of yours can course. find a clue or something. Please. I need to find the bastards that did this. They look like smears. Huh. Any other? Arrows scattered there. They look good as new. Never fired. Okay. It must be Shadow Card Driver. Strange. Not a scratch on it. Let me get this first. And then. These look like dragons. Did someone move a body through here? What do you see there? This stain forms a line. As if blood dripped off the edge of something. But like a cart. See? Cart tracks. I think someone moved the bodies here. And scattered them across the field. Wait, are you saying the dead found here were killed somewhere else? But why would the Shadow Karja do that? At this point, I'm not taking it for granted that the Shadow Karja. Maybe his sister is still alive. Of course they were. Well, let's follow these tracks and find out. Okay. Uh, highlights. Let's go. Is this medicinal? Yeah. I have a feeling we're going to need it. One. They're giving us a lot, which means there's a fight ahead. And a safe point. Definitely something will happen. Okay, uh, let me quick save. And then... Come on, my friend. Let's go. I get why they want a person dead. Why fake an ambush? There's more to this. And we're gonna figure it out. Definitely needed that, so we need to get rid of resources, maybe like this. Uh, anything else we can get rid of? I'm not sure. Here, let me get rid of this. These guys aren't Shadow Karja. They're from my tribe, the Asaram. Is this how your people usually greet each other? On me. Uh, not good. Fall back and circle around. Come on. God. Uh oh. What's that? I think it's calling in machines. Get ready. Where? Uh, okay. uh, we 
need to change the outfit. Something to... Okay. Let me get rid of him, of the gun. Oh! Where did he think he come from? Asaram, not Shadow Karja. Looks like I was wrong about everything, as usual. Traitors. Please, use that second sight of yours. I have to know what really happened. I'm on it. Okay, let us loot. Uh, this is not good, actually. We're fighting a war on double fronts. We have spies among us. Okay, uh, let us scan everything. Cooling element. What are those leather straps? Armor straps. Cut with a knife. And a rock with blood on it. Uh, so much blood. Mm, sacrifice or something? Look like vanguard weapons. There's no blood on them. Versus men didn't fight back. They executed them. A lot of people died here. A massacre. Isn't that good? What's in there? Looks like you could mount some equipment on that thing. There, by the tripod. A used power cell. Wow, they executed them with a heavy weapon. What about here? It's already exempt, right? Okay, nothing else? Those rocks. Okay. They're shattered. Finally. Something hit these stones. Something I've never seen before. Okay. Finished. Talk to Aaron. Aaron. This is Ursus helmet. I thought she died in the field below, but it must have been here. All this trickery. For what? Feels like it's just a torch in me. I have a theory. But it takes a little imagination. Mm. So far, your theories are better than other people's facts. All right. I think the Asaram ambushed Ursa and her men with a new weapon. They mounted it on that tripod up there. It fires waves of force, maybe sound. Looks like it cracked the stone there. I think it paralyzes people instead of killing them. It dropped the vanguard right there. No blood on their weapons. No fight. But why paralyze them if you're only gonna move them and gut them? They were trying to hide something. Let's 
Look here, a bloody rock. That they used to smash Ursa's face in. Or someone else's. These leather straps have been cut, as if they took the armor off someone. Uh, that, that can't be. Her body I is, totally is lying in state in Meridian. I saw it. You said she was unrecognizable. Maybe they switched another body into her armor, someone around the same size, and mutilated it enough so it could have been anyone, even Ursa. Go back to Meridian. Take another look at that body. If it's really Ursa, of course I'm wrong. But if I'm right... Then, then my sister could be alive. I, I, I'm going. Meet me back there when you can. Yeah. Go. Uh, hope is a dangerous thing, but uh, I don't think she's mistaken. Nice. Okay, uh, main quests. Huh? Into the borderlands? Uh, should we continue on this path? What do you think, guys? I think we continue, okay? Uh, let us fast travel. To where? Okay, uh, so here. Let's go. Ah, there was an ancient debris. Ah, oh, for God's sake. I forgot it. Mm. Ah, it's okay. I'm rich anyway. For now. Okay, let's go. Out there. There's a lot of side quests I didn't take yet. Sun. Oh, there. Always stay bright. Always stay. Talk to Marad. Greetings, Aloy. I am known as Blameless Marad. Please come with me. You are needed for an important consultation. What do you mean? Where's Erend? He's inside, attending the Sun King. Where we should be, without further delay. Follow me, please. All of these people are here to see the Sun King. Yes, and each has come to ask a favor of him. Unpleasant, but that's politics. The Sun King is eager to meet you. The machine tamer with a curious eye for detail. It's all very intriguing. I'm not here to intrigue you. Too late. First, the Oseram gets special treatment, what and now Outlander is suddenly having Passed her. by some Outlander woman? Unacceptable. <laughs> I've been here for two hours, and this Nora goes to the front. Okay, of they're mind. definitely nobles, judging by how, wear, how they wear. Oh, God. Please don't make me wear this at some point of the game. Ignore them. Nobles are like children who whine when they don't get a second helping of dessert. <laughs> Tell me about it. What's the Sun King like? The most important thing is what he isn't like. His father. I think you'll find him to be a reasonable man. Here? Oh. Wow. Aloy of the Nora. She who sees the unseen. Welcome. It would seem you have done me a great service. Errand. Tell her what you found. I, I checked Ursa's tomb. You were right, Aloy. The body is missing a scar below her right knee. I gave it to Ursa when we were kids, fighting over a toy sword. If the body is not Ursa's, then we must assume she is still alive. And I will not abandon her. We only know she was taken, not who took her. I can help with that. Ursa has an enemy among the Osiris. A warlord named Durval. 
Impossible. Every clan in the claim has been hunting for him since the liberation. He has to be dead by now. No other Osoram had the motive and ingenuity to lure Ursa into this trap. I expect to find him lurking somewhere near the border. I've already sent an agent to investigate. He'll be waiting for word from us at the marketplace in Pitchcliffe. I can't move troops to the border without provoking the Osoram. But I could send a few vanguardsmen. And perhaps an exceptionally gifted Nora as well? Of course. Errant, Murad. Let me discuss it with her privately. I hate to impose further after all you've done, but this is a matter of great importance to me. You and Ursa? It sounds like Ursa means a lot to you. Without her Asaram vanguard, I would not have been able to liberate Meridian and end my father's brutal reign. Since then, it has been difficult to maintain peace between our tribes. But Ursa has a way of making her people see reason. So you see, I need her back at my side. And quickly. Who is Durval, exactly? To understand Durval, you must first understand my father. He truly thought of himself as a sun god. His mind mm. was broken. He believed that blood sacrifice would solve, well, everything. So he raided the other tribes for victims, especially the Asaram. Durval fought back. He crafted powerful weapons and rallied his people. My father responded with the ultimate cruelty. He captured Durval's wife and daughter, and sacrificed them in the Sun Ring. Am I kidnap Ursa? So, why would Durval go to so much trouble to kidnap Ursa? He felt she betrayed him. She fought by his side until she realized he planned to raise Meridian and butcher its people. And she came to me. Together, we stopped him and liberated the city from my father. Durval has spent every moment since trying to get revenge. Mostly on the other Asaram who fought with us. Okay. He made so many powerful enemies. I thought we'd seen the last of him. I was wrong. The Eclipse? The killers who attacked the Nora. I've discovered that they're a faction of Shadow Karja called the Eclipse. They're digging up ancient weapons. Machines that corrupt and control other machines. They want to use them to strike Meridian. What you're saying echoes reports I've received from Marad. A Shadow Karja splinter group. Corrupted machines across the land. When will this attack come, do you know? I'm not exactly sure. And we will do what we can to prepare. But in the meantime, Ursa is my highest priority. Please, help me find her. Okay. Questions about the Karja Sundom? I'd like to ask you something about the Sundom and its politics. By all means. Well, I think we're going to listen to all this and we'll stop the recording here. They call you a sun god who killed his own father in order to unite the tribes in harmony. Is any of it true? They say you can see the invisible, split an arrow at 50 paces and tame machines at a glance. How much of that is true? It's not too far off. Well... I would like to unite the tribes in harmony, but you saw how many courtiers I have to deal with first. Maybe next week. Okay, your palace. Quite a place you've got here. You can almost see the little people below the mesa. You don't approve? Well, I have a secret for you. Neither do I. But we must be patient. Change won't come in a single sunrise. But will it happen at all, while men live in palaces? It might. Eventually, if people like you help me bring it about. Karjan Osaram? Your politics seem very complicated. The Osaram are friends, but enemies too. I couldn't have liberated Meridian without the help of Ursa and her Osaram freebooters. Many of them have settled here. But the Eldermen of the Osaram clans and the claim have become jealous of their success. So have many Karja nobles. It's a volatile situation, 
especially given the fact that my father raided the Asaram for years. Ursa helps keep the peace, it's promising a future based on politics. mutual gain. But some, like Durval, will never let go of their venom. What can you tell me about the Shadow Karja? What do they have to do with Ursa? They are remnants of my father's regime, holding out at the fortress of Sunfall to the west. Like him, they care only for domination and seek to draw upon the power of the sun by spilling blood in its name. Since Ursa helped me take this city from them, they were perfect scapegoats. Durval knew this, of course, and planned it well. Okay. I need to get going. I know. Well, they say kings should never beg. But please, help me find Ursa. Who says that? Well, Murad, for one. Don't hesitate to ask him or Aaron if you have further questions. I like him. What's that? Uh, yeah, I'll give the read later. So, we got to the next point of the quest. We recorded for more than 20 minutes, of course. And I think we're going to stop this episode just here. And that will be all, guys, for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please share the video with your friends. Comment. Like. Subscribe. This helps me a lot. More than you know. Really. It helps out. Please give it some time. And if you want to see my future videos or my past videos, you can follow me on one of the social media. The details are running here in the back. You can also find the links in the description down below. Again, no excuses. Give it some time right now. Go, 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 go. Till next time, guys. Take care of yourselves and each other. Please stay safe. And see you guys next time. Bye.